Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Race, and you are learning React JS and PHP MySQL CRUD operation. So in this part, uh, we have created three fields: first name, last name, and email. To make the code functional, we need to create function that can track the values of the text box and set that state according to it. Apart from that, our function will send the post request to PHP MySQL REST API. First, we need to create a constructor and set the initial state and then also bind this to the different events inside the constructor. So let's create a constructor into our uh, insert.js file. So here, now, let's write here constructor and then like this. So props, this one, and then super constructor. Okay, so here we have added here four lines of code. So on change first name, then we are binding this data. We are binding this data and assigning here to this variable. Okay. And after submit on submit this one. And now we are creating here a state. Okay. So first name, last name, and email we have created here initial three states and initial value of this state will be blank okay so we have created here three states and initial value of this state will be blank and apart from that we have created here three functions so on chain name then e dot target dot value will be assigned to so key value pair here will be generated email and then And also, we need to change here inside this input value. We need to write here. And also, you need to change here into an input field. So here will be a value equals to this dot state dot first name and on change. Okay, yeah. this dot. So here, on change, this dot, on change first name. So when we will click this one, it will be assigned here and then ultimately a key value pair will be generated. So similarly, we need to write into our other fields also. For example, last name, last name, uh, on change last name this one and then email so let's copy it also value then on change so here to will be email and then on change email this one right and now let's create one more function to submit the data here so here will be e dot prevent default so that after submitting it shouldn't uh, get submitted by default rather it should go through react just process so let's write this code this code is written so that by default you know, click the submit button it shouldn't submit as a normal the value will be submitted or uh, if you do this then our value will be submitted through react js process let's create here an object which will contain this key value uh, key and value so when we submit click on submit button then state will change here so taking from this first name here the value will be assigned and the last name value will be assigned and email value will be assigned here so the data will be going in key value pair key and value key and value okay in JSON format if you want to check this then it's right here console.log right here console.log and then and one more thing which we need to change here 
in form so here will be submit equals to this dot submit and now let's try to check here so let me check if the server is running here it's running properly now let's check here if there is any error then it, it will display here in console okay the form is coming here so now let's write here first name Umar that be my name then Rahman email Umar at gmail.com now click on register so here you go you can see the value is going here as an object key value pair key value pair and the same value will be sent to php rest api where this value will be inserted into mysql database and one more thing the data will be passed through axios library so we need to install that here before using so here is the command to install axios library npm install axios this axios and save hyphen hyphen save okay so now let's press enter and this library will get installed into our node module folder okay so the installation is complete and now let's start npm start once again so that we can start the server once the axios is installed in that after that we will call here and the same we will use here to send data to api so this is the code and this is the line of code which we will which will send the data to rest api php uh, file so axios then post http localhost we will use xamp server and php mysql here and react js crud which is the folder name uh, inside our htdocs folder which we will just uh, explain in the next video and also this is your insert.php file which we will create and whatever the response will be coming from there it will display here and apart from that we need to add here and once the data is sent the state will be once again clear so here this state will be clear once the data is sent to the server okay so now in the next video we will be working on this rest api section okay so far you have seen here that when we submit the data it should go to that file so let's register then it is displaying here apart from that in the network section one second we need to refresh this one gmail.com now press register then you can see here the data is going to here one second yeah, this one so the timing the response is nothing because we have not created this part so far so we will I will explain all these things in next video so stay connected thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you can uh, have notification of our latest video thanks for watching bye bye